going the extra mile as a virtue and a mindset is a philosophy that has been embraced by many successful people in different fields. In today's video, we are going to talk about going the extra mile. We discuss tips on how to easily add this virtue to your life. Learn several tips to use this as an entrepreneur, and I include some awesome resources from Napoleon Hill's book, The Law of Success, and Jeff Olson's book, The Slight Edge, and what they have to say about going the extra mile. Going the extra mile as a virtue and a mindset is a philosophy that has been embraced by many successful people in different fields. In fact, it is one of the 12 week virtues in my free program for this very reason. Following this 12 week virtue building program is one of the most important success principles. This program has proven to be one of the best efforts you can put forth on your success journey. To get your copy of the 12 week program and access to the private blog, you are more than welcome to sign up at Kathy Owen dot com backslash virtues. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. I have been a certified fitness trainer and certified life coach since 2002. On this channel, we talk about healthy habits, having a growth mindset, fitness, and even some reality transurfing. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to give this video a like and also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss content from me. Let's get into the episode. This concept of going beyond the expected or required effort has become an essential characteristic of high achievers. Going the extra mile is a combination of a positive attitude and dedication and can quite honestly be very easy to do. It means doing more than what is expected exceeding expectations, and consistently putting in extra effort to achieve a goal or task. Going the extra mile is not just about putting in more hours, but it also involves an attitude of excellence, a willingness to take on challenges, and a commitment to do things with a high level of excellence. It is about going beyond the minimum requirements and striving to be the best in everything that you do. Now, this may sound difficult, and I get that. And if you put a lot of pressure on yourself, it will be difficult. That is why I recommend making flow a priority in your life. Because when you come from a place of flow, which is where challenge meets skill, you will find this to be easy. Flow is a different style of doing things, and you will find this helping you to go a very long way. I will have a link in the show notes and description below that talk about an article that I wrote on flow. The virtue of going the extra mile is something that can be implied in all areas of life. You know, think of the following when considering going the extra mile as a virtue. Your career life, your personal life, your relationships, and going the extra mile in these areas can make a significant difference. For example, in your career, going the extra mile could mean staying late to complete a project, going beyond your job description to assist a colleague, or consistently striving to improve your skills and knowledge. In your personal life, going the extra mile might mean taking the time to help a friend in need, showing appreciation for others, or consistently showing up for loved ones. And when you come from a place of flow, you will find this to be easy, not hard and no burnout will be involved. Going the extra mile requires a mindset that focuses on the bigger picture and not just the immediate task at hand. It means being proactive and seeking out opportunities to make a positive impact. A person with the mindset of going the extra mile does not wait for someone else to take action, but rather takes the initiative to create the positive change. The mindset of going the extra mile can also be seen as a form of leadership. Leaders are individuals who are willing to take risks, be innovative, and inspire others to achieve more than they thought that was possible. When you go the extra mile, you become a leader in your own right, setting an example for others to follow and inspiring them to be the best they can be. 
So what does Napoleon Hill say about going the extra mile? He was a strong advocate for going the extra mile, and in his book, The Law of a Success, he dedicated an entire chapter to the topic, emphasizing the importance of going above and beyond what is expected. Actually, this is exactly where I came up with the idea of using this virtue of the week. According to Hill, going the extra mile involves the willingness to put in extra effort, to do more than what is required or expected, and to focus on delivering a high level of service or quality. Hill believed that going the extra mile is a characteristic of successful people, and those who consistently practice it are more likely to achieve their goals and dreams. In the book, The Law of Success, Hill shared several stories of successful individuals who had gone the extra mile and reaped the rewards of their efforts. He also emphasized that going the extra mile is not just about working hard, thank goodness, but it also requires a positive mental attitude, a willingness to serve others, and a commitment to lifelong learning. He taught us that those who adopt the mindset of going the extra mile are more likely to attract opportunities and create success in their lives. He wrote this, The habit of going the extra mile is the difference between the average person and the successful person. It is the difference between mediocrity and excellence. Talk about a powerful quote right there. Napoleon Hill believed that going the extra mile is a vital concept for achieving success in life. By putting in extra effort, focusing on delivering a higher level of service, and adopting a positive mindset, individuals can create more opportunities for themselves and achieve their goals and dreams. So what he wrote in there made me instantly go to the book, The Slight Edge, and that's what we're going to talk about next. Jeff Olson is the author of the book, The Slight Edge, and he also emphasizes the importance of going extra mile in his book. And I found his book helpful and thought that his concepts would be a great way to provide further input on this virtue. Because Jeff Olson teaches us that small, consistent actions over time can create huge results. And going the extra mile is one of those small actions that can make a big difference. And in my opinion, this makes this easy, which is why I included this as a method to help us to go the extra mile. In this book, Olson explains that going the extra mile is about doing just a little bit more than what is expected or required. It's about taking a little extra time, putting in a little more effort, or doing something a little bit better than usual. These small incremental improvements can compound over time and create significant results. He states that going the extra mile is a habit that successful people practice consistently. He writes, the difference between successful people And unsuccessful people is that successful people are willing to do the things that unsuccessful people are not willing to do. They are willing to go the extra mile. Olson also notes that going the extra mile requires a shift in mindset. It's about choosing to take responsibility for your own success and committing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. I just talked about responsibility the other day. I will have a link in the show notes and the description to the article that includes the video and podcast episode on responsibility. But this responsibility requires a willingness to step outside your comfort zone, to take risks, and be persistent and consistent in the face of challenges and obstacles. In The Slight Edge, Olson provides numerous examples of individuals who have achieved success by going the extra mile. From business leaders to athletes to everyday people, he shows us how this simple habit can create a significant edge in any area of life. Jeff Olson teaches us that going the extra mile is a key habit for achieving success. By consistently doing a little bit more than what is expected or required, individuals can create a significant result over time. And it requires a shift in mindset and a willingness to take responsibility for your own success. And the rewards are well worth the effort. So let's talk about entrepreneurship and going the extra mile. 
Entrepreneurs who go the extra mile are more likely to stand out in their industry and build a strong reputation and achieve success in their business. Talk about building a memorable brand. Here are some practical steps entrepreneurs can take to go the extra mile. Number one, provide exceptional customer service. Exceptional customer service is one of the most important ways entrepreneurs can go the extra mile. This involves making a concerted effort to exceed customer expectations, respond promptly to inquiries and concerns, and provide personalized attention to each customer. Simply offer better service in different ways. You will notice when you come from the spirit of harmony, aka flow, your wins will happen on a regular basis. Number two, deliver high quality products or services. Entrepreneurs can also go the extra mile by delivering high quality products or services. And this means focusing on the details, testing and refining the products, and ensuring that each offering is better than the competition. Number three, going the extra mile for entrepreneurs is invest in a personal and professional development. This involves continuously learning new skills and seeking out mentors or coaches, attending conferences and staying up to date on industry needs. And I can't tell you enough how my coach, my mentor, Joseph Rodriguez, has shifted my mindset to going the extra mile. And I highly recommend him. And I will have a link to his channel in the show notes and description below. Number four, be responsive and flexible. This means being available to business associates, clients, or customers, and adjusting to changing market conditions and adapting quickly to new situations. Honestly, this would be so easy if you make flow a priority because you already become responsive responsive and flexible and I highly recommend making flow a priority. Number five, create a culture of excellence. Finally, entrepreneurs can go the extra mile by creating a culture of excellence within their businesses. This involves hiring and training the best employees, setting high standards for performance, and continually striving to improve processes and operations. Bottom line is entrepreneurs who go the extra mile are those who are willing to put in the extra effort. By adopting this mindset and taking these practical steps, entrepreneurs can create a competitive advantage, build a strong reputation, and achieve a long-term success. Conclusion. Going the extra mile is a virtue and a mindset that can help you achieve great things in life. It requires a positive attitude, dedication, and making flow state a priority in your life. That is why I love this virtue. It is a challenge and a skill that can be met with ease while in flow state. If you need help with this virtue and or any of the other virtues that I teach, I highly recommend signing up for the 12-week virtue building program. By going beyond the minimum requirements and striving to be the best in everything you do, you can make a significant impact on your career, your personal life, and your relationships. When you adopt this mindset, you become a leader in your own right, inspiring others to do more than they thought was possible. So always remember to go the extra mile and be the best you can be. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. I trust that you found this helpful. If you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it with them. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Peace out and namaste.